The beat, we gave it to Joe and it was a brand new sound. And we started fucking around with synths. A lot of people weren't doing that. So we were really messing around with the synthesizers. We did this dope ass beat and we gave it to Joe and Joe loved it. Like a couple months, I kept saying, yo, what's up with that beat? He's like, man, it's good. It's too different. I was like, all right, cool. John and them came in. I played him the beat. I played it for Irv and Irv was just like, yo, this beat is crazy, Dre. You be He's like, man, put a hook on this for me. I didn't know that Cool had gave it to Jada. I, I had no idea. But we go back to the studio we was using at the time on South Beach, and I just do the whole hook. I got a hundred, that's a hundred clips. I'm from New York. I got a semi-automatic that spits next time if you talk. Go back to Hit Factory, play it for John. He loses. He's like, yo, this is crazy. He cuts his verse. He does the hook. Irv is like, yo, I know exactly who to give this to. I get this to Nas. It's going to be John Nas, New York. Nas was in Africa. He couldn't do it. Irv goes, I got a better idea. He calls Joe Crack. I'm with you guys, Cool and Dre. They gave me the illest record ever. I'm about to send it to you right now. Joe gets it, and he calls my phone. Yo, that's my beat. That's my beat. Yo, you didn't give it to me with no hook. That shit got a hook. The hook is incredible, Dre. Joe gets on it. Irv is like, yo, I'm going to get Jada. And that's when Cool puts his hands in his hands. He's like, yo, I gave this shit to Jada because he wants it. I'm like, nah, you can't be serious. Jada calls Cool's phone, like, yo, my man, this is my beat. So it's crazy how guys that rapped on it all had the beat. It was crazy because, you know, it was a record that was huge for me and Cool because it was our first hit. I always thought it was a dope record, but when we were at Sky Bar, the Mondrian in LA, and the DJ put it on, and the whole place went crazy singing the hook. And I looked at Cool, I was like, oh shit, they know this shit. I thought it was just a New York song. The New York record was big for us because that's what got us into Atlanta to work with Jeezy. He had Coach K pick us up in a promo van. We got to the studio. He kept saying, I brought y'all down here. I need that New York. And me was like, what you talking about? He's like, yo, that sound. I've been playing it for all my producers. Whatever that is, I need y'all to do that for me. You know, the New York record was big for us. You know what I mean? It was our first hit, you know? Give thanks.